Welcome back to Spinning the Past. I'm about to get started here. My wheel, I've tested it out. I like the tensioning. It's pulling and yet it's allowing the twist to go in there. I've got it on my six ratio and I'll tell you why. Um, I've chosen this. This is South Down, it's really easy to spin. You see how, I don't know if you see how it's all going all different directions. It's definitely a roving and not a top, not top. So roving is a little bit easier to spin. I'm going to pre-draft it just to help myself a little bit. Pre-drafting is just very gently elongating that bit of roving that you have just a little bit so here's my leader I'm gonna put the unspun unspun and then put it on top of one another and then add some twist and when it has twist then I can start uh, drafting I'm gonna Use the take up on that just a little bit. This, it wants to be spun woolen. It doesn't want high twist. If it gets high twist, it'll get very wiry, uh, very coarse. It's kind of a coarse fiber as is. So, and I know I, I'm not gonna, this is not gonna be spun as I would spin top. It's not gonna be a um, true worsted prep anyway so this is going to be a semi so what I do is so I'm having the the twist the the twist is going to be between my hands my front hand with my thumb and first finger is going to open the gate let the twist and then close open and twist open so what the buildup of twist will be here and then it'll jump here as I'm drafting back. So this is a semi woolen, not, tr uh, not a true long draw. Okay. So let me fold it back on itself. And I see, well, it's really loosely spun. So I will adjust and I'll see how far. Remember, it's only giving twist, six twists per inch. For every revolution of this will be six twists. So one revolution will be six twists here, six twists here, six twists here. But if it's elongated, that means like this may be getting one, this will get one twist, this will get one twist. So you'll need to do six treadles or six revolutions for each inch to get six twists per inch. And the way I'm just saying, seeing twist six twists per inch is that's kind of a basic beginner's um, twist there. I'm liking that better. Um, it is probably, um, probably go just a little bit more twist. When you ply, you lose twist. So if you have a little bit extra twist, in your singles um, do not fret you can always add a little bit more ply twist which will remove the initial twist okay so I'm gonna get into a groove I'm having a rhythm I'm actually counting the treadles. So I'm saying, well, I'm going to draft back maybe, maybe 10 inches. And I count how many treadles I need in that. So the way you can get a consistent yarn is to have the same number of fibers and the same amount of twists, which we, it's kind of treadles because like I said, every time this big wheel goes around, it's adding for this ratio, six twists per inch. 
If I go up to here, I think this is 8, and this is either 10 or 12. It looks like a 10 to me. There we go. So that's how we get consistency. This is just one type of semi-woolen. I'm trying not to get it really thin because that I'm used to spinning really thin, so it's hard for me to go back to spinning something a bit beefier. So this is just it. Just when you get back to that, choose something that's really easy to spin. Something that you don't have to worry too much about. You're just getting back into the swing of getting your feet and your drafting coordinated. That has to be coordinated so you can start getting back into spinning to, um, I guess what I call spinning to twists. I spin to, because I know exactly what I want to spin and how I need, what I need to do to get there. So if you see, this is a fatter bit, so I will stop, spin the opposite way, See if I can pull that apart a little bit. It may not. This is kind of little, little rat's nest right there, but roving you will not get a smooth yarn. So that's to be expected. So I hope this is somewhat useful to you. I know a lot of you are much more advanced than this, but I just want to show you for those who are a little rusty Get back to the wheel. This is a wonderful, wonderful time to learn why you loved it in the first place. It's so rhythmic. There's, uh, other than um, your, your counting, at least I do, count my treadles, but other than that, you're not dropping stitches. Really not much can go wrong. This is how I kind of finish up. I just kind of roll it on that so it doesn't come untangled so I don't lose the twist. So that's it, really easy. Get back to spinning. There's no excuse at this time that a lot of us are off not to get back to spinning. We have stashes, I'm sure a lot of you have stashes. I have stashes. Choose something simple. This is top. Top is really hard to draft. It's not friendly to draft. This is cotton. This is really short, this is really fine. It's not something you wanna necessarily jump into when you're trying to get back to hand spinning because this takes just a little bit more skill than spinning just a nice fluffy disorganized roving to do but you start with this then you can switch to a top and then you can spin to this and then you will make the adjustments on your wheel as necessary you will change your ratios. You will change the way you draft. You will change the way you spin. This one as well, you might change prep a little bit. So I would pre-draft this, for example. Definitely change, change out my bobbin to my high speed bobbins. Chase this, change this out to my high speed. So all these things, it'll start coming back to you and you will learn to spin or relearn to spin if you've been out of it for a while. I'm just, just this is videos for people who haven't been spinning for a while. You get back in the hang of things. It's just, it's kind of muscle memory. It will come back. It's eye hand coordination, it's feet coordination. You'll get back to it. So I want to encourage everybody who's out there and you've got a wheel collecting dust somewhere, dust it off, get it all um, oiled and Put graphite where it needs to go, get it dusted off, start practicing your, um, your drafting again, get everything going so you can enjoy spinning because I just think spinning is one of the, the best things you could do. It's so calming, it's so relaxing, it doesn't take that much thinking about it. As